There's not too many actual federal obligations that we have to do as a country. But there's a treaty with all of us that says they're going to provide health care. And it's greatly underfunded. And every time we go into a shutdown, which we all are possibly expecting one at the end of this year, Indian Health Services is, is the first one to get punished. Because it's so underfunded, we can't afford not to be funded. And the only reason why half the time it stays open is because our tribes have done a very well, a very good job of funding themselves now. Guys, we need to make changes to this. It's not okay for us to sit back and be silent. It's not okay to allow somebody else to speak on our behalf. We have to start growing leaders all across the country. We've got to start growing leaders to expect them to grow up to come to Washington, D.C. and fight for us. Because while you guys fly in and you guys have these clients, which I think fully you do, you can't be here day in and day out. And no one's going to fight harder for us than someone with first-hand knowledge. I get that you can get people, you can teach people, you can tell them what we're going through, but unless there's somebody like me who didn't know there was any difference in getting here, didn't know you were special because it's where you were born and raised, they're not truly going to understand. And guys, I don't care if you're Republican or Democrat. I don't care. When we're fighting for Indian country, we're fighting for Indian country. And that's first. Yes. Right? Personally invested in it. Personally invested in it. The guys are personally invested in it. And so, a lot of times, you guys will come up to me and thank me for fighting for you. Quite thank you for fighting for you. I'm fighting for me just as much as I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting for my kids and I'm fighting for my grandparents. We're all in this fight together. We're all in the same boat. We're all rolling in the direction in the same direction. You can encourage that there is no need to think because I'd be fighting regardless because it's my way. It's my way of life. We choose to live what we live because it's what we've always done. You guys understand what I'm saying? And you live what you live and you fight it because you fight it because you're personally invested the same way as I am. So I look forward to continuing this fight moving forward. I look forward to seeing all you guys, hopefully one at a time, <laughs> maybe more. Stop by my office when I get in my office in the Senate, which I guess that's sometime in May, because I'll be freshly stuck in the basement for a while. So <laughs> wait until the next fall. <laughs> but guys, I look forward to continuing this fight in the other chamber. We've stayed with Father of the Yard in the house, and we're going to continue to fight in this other chamber. So God bless you all. Thank you so much.